children. It's good to know that you're there at home, on TV, on mommy or daddy's phone listening. You're very welcome to our lesson today. Remember last week, the teacher taught us that we are made in the image of God. God loves us so much that he made us in his image. Today we are going to learn another lesson. But before we do that, we shall pray. Hands together, eyes closed, and heads bowed. Father, we thank you so much for keeping us this week. Thank you, Lord, for giving us TV and phones and data to be able to listen to your word. Lord, will you help us to be attentive and not fidget around as we learn something new from your word? Help us to do what we are going to learn today, for it is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Children, this week we are going to learn that whatever we hear in God's word, we should do it. Last week we learned that God made us in his image. And God knows us. God loves us. God knows all the things in the world that we do not know. And do you know what God did? God wrote for us his word. His word is the Bible. It tells us what to do and what not to do. And I'll tell you what our memory verse is this week. Our memory verse comes from the book of James, chapter 1, verse 22. James, chapter 1, verse 22. And the scripture says, do not just listen to the word. Do what it says. Do not just listen to the word. Do what it says. And over the weeks, the teachers have been telling us what the word says. I know at one point I came here and I told you to forgive one another. And we also learned about obeying our parents. We had the word. Today the lesson is to learn how to obey God. To obey God is to do what God says. And that is what our scripture verse is saying in James 1 verse 22. Do not just listen to the word. Do what it says. I'll tell you a small story about a mommy and a daddy who had two children. One was Eva. Eva was 10. She was the big sister. And then there was little Tim. Little Tim was just three. So one day, mommy and Tim and Eva went to the kitchen to cook. And mommy was cooking on the fire. And the food was smelling so yummy. Mm, it was so yummy. But as she was cooking, daddy called, daddy called mommy and said, Mommy, come. And mommy told Eva, Eva, take care of Tim. Make sure Tim does not come near the fire. He will be burnt. And mommy went out to meet with daddy. And then you know what happened? When Tim saw that mommy had gone and the food was smelling so yummy, he wanted to eat some of it. So he quickly moved to where the cooker was. And you know, children, what did Eva, the big sister, say? Let me hear you say, what did Eva say to Tim? Don't touch, Tim! No! Yes. He told Tim, do not touch what? No, Tim? No. Do you think Eva wanted Tim to obey? Yes. Of course. Because Eva was older and she knew more, she knew that if Tim came near the yummy smelling food, he would get hurt. The food would burn him or the fire would burn him and he would be hurt. And Eva did not want that. But children, do you know that Tim did not know if the food was hot? Tim did not know if the food was warm. 
Tim was not sure if the food was cold. But Eva, who knew that the food was hot, told him, do not touch. And thanks be to God, Tim obeyed and he sat. Not so happy, but he obeyed. Children, do you know that God tells us things to do and not to do here in his word? He tells us because he loves us. Some of the things that God tells us, we don't understand. We are just little children. But because he loves us, he wants us to be comfortable, to have a good life, to live well with other people, and to be safe. And that is why he says in Deuteronomy, when he tells us, do not steal, do not lie. Obey your parents. He knows it is good for you. Like whenever told Tim, do not touch. Children, sometimes like for Tim, it is difficult to obey. It is difficult to obey when someone has been unkind to you and God is saying, be kind. When someone is doing wrong things to you and the Bible tells you, forgive. Remember what the scripture verse said in James 1, chapter 22. Do not just listen to the word, do what it says. And we obey God because he loves us. He knows what will keep us safe. He knows what will help us live well with other people. Children, obey no matter what. When your friends are not being good, obey. I know that you will obey because you're not just listening to me. You're going to do what the Bible says. Children, obey no matter what because the word of god has told us do not just listen do what it says all right now we will pray father we thank you for learning that you love us so much and so you've written for us in the bible the things that we should do and the things that we shouldn't do Will you help us, Lord, to obey them, to do what the Bible says? Help us to obey, Lord, no matter what. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Choose to do what's right, even when it's hard.